Hi pals, welcome to my channel. My name is Jules and I'm a Scottish Highlander on a budget. If you're new here, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for joining me on yet another video. Uh, I really, really do appreciate it. And so if you are new, um, I would absolutely love it if you could subscribe, if you are up for that. Um, and hit the notification bell and that'll let you know whenever I post a video. I do tend to post three a week, uh, budget with me, cash stuffing and a close out. Um, and also, um, put a wee comment in the comment section or like the video, we really do appreciate all that interaction. Um, and if you're new, let me know you're new. Um, and also if you have your own channel and you don't think I watch you, then please let me know in the comments and I will jump on over and double check on that one. Um, so yeah, today we are going to be doing our close out for the week. Um, it might be a bit higgledy piggledy because I've spent a lot and I can't quite recall. It's been one of those weeks and I just can't quite recall what has gone where and what and it should. I mean, it's written down, but um, you know, I won't. Can't remember exactly what I did on an exact date. Um, that's next week. So we're going to close out this week. So I've done some of the calculations to start us with. So we don't need this page because that's for our cash stuff in. So we need this page, but we also need to do our, let's just do the purse first. I'm finding that's a little bit easier um, to do the close out of the purse first. I have done, I've got a lot of to and fro in here today. Sorry guys. Um, I have added in there when I have been spending, so I had a no spend on uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday because um, of the weather, I wasn't really out. Uh, Sunday I did my food shop and um, we had dinner out. Friday I bought food for work uh, because I was on a double shift and I forgot to take sort of like a lunch with me, so I bought a lunch meal deal. Um, and. Oh, that's on the wrong day. This my spending should be on Saturday. Um, I got fuel on Saturday and I also um, used my spending on Saturday for a coffee. And also I got a couple of um, pastries for my partner, uh, my mum and dad. And we had that in the afternoon after the hospital appointment. So, um, yeah, so I have been kind of trying to keep a track, trying to do this a bit more, being more in control of that. Um, and um, my expense trackers, I'm, I am using, but it's just for my um, credit card, not my credit card, my current account. So I'm not really taking much money out once I get my cash out. I'm not really, really using that account very much. So um, yeah, so that's, that's that. Done it again. Oh, I feel like I should start this video again. I was too unemployed. Um, so let's do this first. I'm just going to that in there, keep my place. Let's get the purse out. Then my apologies for all this movement. So it's been a bit of a spendier week than normal, which is fine because all this money is here to be spent. Um, so it's no problem. I'm quite happy with that. But let's just see what we have done. I to take my receipts out. Groceries, we have no notes, but we do have some change, which is here. But we'll leave that to the side for now because I want to just talk through all the rest of my spending. So that's the change from groceries. Um, fuel, Piper's food, I've used £10 of that, but it's rolling over, so it's kind of gone into like a sinking fund now. Um, so she's got £10 left in there. Fuel, we still have £10 left, so we spent £55. And we have £10 left over. My spending, we ended up spending on the nose, so we had £3.10 for two lots of pastries and £1.90 for a coffee, so that was spent £5. I have nothing left. Miscellaneous. Um, I had to get some vitamin C capsules. They were five twenty five, so I spent five twenty five. But I'm just going to put five because the other twenty five came out of groceries. Okay. Um, so twenty five pence already came out of the thirty five for. Um, my groceries. 
work spending as i said already i spent five pound of that because i forgot to get my lunch so i've got five pound left over um, i shouldn't have really have touched that because um i didn't actually work on a saturday on the days that i would normally spend that money um postage is the rollover plan spending is a rollover and so we've got the this change so this is the change we have left from groceries so we've got one pound fifty two pound fifty three two pound i mean <laughs> two pound thirty five thirty six so we've got two pound thirty six left over so 35 minus £2.36 means we spent £32.64 on groceries. Like obviously some of that change, I've used some of the change when I was buying other things. So that's why it doesn't all kind of just like £3 coins and uh, whatever. But yeah, there we are. So that is our, that's money there for the cash stuffing. So that is our leftovers. So let's just add these up. So we've got £3.20, £32.64 plus 55 plus 15. It means we spent £102.64. And so we should have £17.36 left. That's £120, so that's fine. And we do have a 1736. Okay, let's flip back to our spending. Actually, leave that to the side there. I hope you can still see. Somebody said that they couldn't really see all my paperwork. So if you can't see, can you let me know in the comments? Um, I do try and zoom in whenever I can. So we rolled over five pound, well, four pound something, four pound eighty one, I think it is, a little bit more uh, than we expected to. So we rolled over six hundred and seven pound and sixty three. I then, controversially, somebody bought me a coffee. Um, they bought a planner and they put an extra five pound in the payment and when I went to give them it back they asked me just to treat myself to a coffee on that so I'm really 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 appreciative of that um and it was very very generous of you so thank you so much uh, I haven't mentioned I haven't said I was going to talk about you so I'm not going to say your name but I do really really appreciate it thank you so much um so that's five pound there and I'm actually going to give that to me for my birthday that five pound and then i'm going to um put five pound that i was going to put into birthday into gifts so that's what i'm going to use that money for um and then i will treat myself to a coffee for my birthday um and then um i put 10 pound 69 in to etsy so we have 10 pound and 69 um i did use 35 pound of sinking funds for eating out So I didn't predict to use any, I did use 35 on eating out. And then Piper used £10 of hers. So we used £45 of sinking funds. And we'll add 45 into there. So that gives me 6, 6, 8, 32. And then I had my Netflix come out at 6 99 My Apple New Music I forgot about. Um, it was 79p, but I had 10, pound, 10 pence in my PayPal somehow. I don't know how that happened, but I had 10 pence in my PayPal. Um, so it just took 69 out of my bank. So I'm just going to... I don't know where the 10p came from, so I'm just going to put it down as 69. So 6.99 plus 0.69 means that I should have had £7.68 in bills come out. So six, six, eight, thirty-two, and then deduct the £7.68 from my bills. Leave me with six, six, zero, sixty-four. 
Oh yeah, I was thinking, why is that so much? But I forgot my sinking funds already and I only did that a few minutes ago. Uh, deduct the 45 for the sinking funds, which gives me 61564. I then put £10 towards my credit card, which gives me 605 pound and 64 put that in the wrong place again done it there too 605 pound 64 i then put 85 pound into sinking funds as predicted so 25 15 the um, birthday money is going to go in like this coming week and my cash stuff in today. Um, the coffee money, sorry. So 85 there. And we'll deduct that. Which gives me 52064. So then for groceries, we actually spent 32.64. Piper, I'm not going to put in there because obviously I took it out there. Fuel is 55. Oh, that's not what to do. Um, my spending, I spent 5. Miscellaneous, I spent 5. Work spending, I spent 5. And then Etsy postage, I just put it in as if I've spent it because it, I don't count it um, in this budget I count it in my business budget so 3264 plus 55 plus 15 plus 10 is 112 pound 64 spent yeah so it should be 102 plus 8 is 10 112 perfect not like me to be getting this all right something's going to go wrong very shortly one one two sixty four is four hundred and eight. That's not correct. Must be. I told you. <laughs> Minus one one two sixty four is. Ah, uh, wait a minute. 505 oh, 204 minus 11264 is 408. Put £10 into me time, £15 into um, monthly challenges. Oh, that's what I'm going wrong. I'm thinking, like, how is that like an even number? But it's because I've still got my penny challenges and things to do. Oh, I'm not with it today, guys, at all. So let's do the penny challenge. So we'll get the sheet for the challenges, which is here. Okay, so me time, we're going to put 15 in. Is it me time? Oh my goodness. No, new year, new me. Of course it is. Silly. Me time's the one I stuff. Um, new year, new me. So we actually only need £5 to complete this one. Which is good because we've got five here. Here's my pen. So... New year, new me gets five pound. So we've already done ten, and we've already done fifteen here. So new year, new me gets five pounds. So we should have one hundred and fifty, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, one, twenty, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five, fifty. So that's another challenge complete. This is exciting, and then we have. Our Easter challenge to do now. Oh no, we're not going to do Valentine's. Sorry, bear with. Going to 
Valentine's and Easter, so we'll put them both in. And these are new challenges that are now available on my Etsy shop, but we're going to do the Valentine's one. So we'll mark off that we have completed here, and then we've got £10 to put into the Valentine's Day one. Can you see that okay? Um, so this goes up in increments again of fives, tens, fifteens and twenties. So we'll just cross off this ten. I might get all fancy and start colouring them in, but for the moment we'll just do it that way. So let's write this in. So we're starting with nothing, not adding anything in there and we're going to add £10 in this week. That's Valentine started off, so that's good. And then Penny Challenge, we have Let's zoom you out just a wee bit so you can see a bit better. So we have a pound coin for the one pound challenge. We have one fifty P. No, two pounds, and we've got 20, 40, 60, 70, 85, 86 pence for the penny challenge. Let's see what we can do. So we've done 86, we've done 83, so we'll have to do 84, 82 plus 4. Gives us the 86. It's amazing how heavy money actually gets, isn't it? Um, 50p going in there. And the one pound. Is it going in there? Leave that to dry, and then we'll flip back over. I do apologise so much of moving the book around today. So I have to add Valentine's in here. Can you see? So we didn't predict anything into there, but we've put £10 into Valentine's, we've put £5 into New Year, New Me. Not sure what I'm going to do with that. Um, yeah, I don't really know what I'm going to... £2.36. <laughs> uh, and £2.36 into the Penny Challenge tempted to get my hair done um but i don't know i just i really don't like spending money getting my hair done when i can buy a bottle of a dye and uh, the other half can just cut it in a straight line because it's long and shoulder length so anyway we'll see so 42 36 um if we do go away for my birthday i might just put it towards that um so that we can have a good a good couple of nights away um so 408 minus 4236, which is the total of what I've put into my challenges this week. Oh, goodness. I think because I hold the pen, I can't use the calculator as well. So minus 4236 gives me 36564. And yeah, I was a bit awkward there but yeah 365 that's what was in my bank before I took um the cash out for my cash stuffing uh, yesterday evening I had 365 in there so I checked that so yeah that's good getting into a bit of a rhythm of getting it right which means I'll probably get it wrong next week but um it definitely helps tracking my money a bit more um and I did see um mother budgeter she uses this book as well and she um quite often pops her 
uh, things up on here and she quite often puts the amount of what she's spending each day in total so i think i might try that i'm copying this pure lady uh, all the time but yeah i think i'm going to maybe um copy that and put the amount in per day that i'm spending just so that it's easier than having to flip back uh, to the the calendar page um but yeah so that is us for the week um just so you can see in my single vans i have taken 40 pound out of electric as well my 35 that i took out for um eating out and 10 pound for the dog that's all the money i've taken out this week uh when you look at the amount of electric i've taken out so what's that 90 pound um in two weeks i've used on electric um it's scary it's scary scary but yeah, um, got my voucher through, so I'll be able to do that on this week. So that should hopefully help me out until the, I get paid. But yeah, uh, that is us then, I think, for today. Um, have I done everything I want to do? Yeah, we've got that ready for uh, cash stuffing. That is us then, that's us for the, the week. For my closeout, I just want to do my shout outs. I'm trying to remember them. So I've got another three for this week. So we've got Yasmin Camilla. Now Yasmin Camilla is one of the first channels I watched. Um, she is oh, originally it was on TikTok that I saw her. Uh, so she is an amazing lady. She managed to um clear all of her debt last year, and she has gone freelance with her working now. She's not tied to an office. Um, and I've got to say she seems so much happier in her videos. But yeah, if you haven't seen her, jump on over and check out her YouTube. So she's YouTube, Instagram and TikTok um, is where you can find Yasmin Camilla. Um, then we have Iris Budgets. Now Iris Budgets tempts me every single video with her um, sort of 1k, 5k challenges, uh, binders. And I've got to admit, I really, really want one. However, I know I could make the, not as nice, but I know I can make the envelopes for myself which is putting me off, but I do think I'm going to save up and get one of her binders because they're just absolutely beautiful. Um, all of her challenges are, but her binders, her sort of big thick binders, they just, I love them. I really, really want one. And every time I see other channels using them, I'm like, oh, just get one, just get one. But I don't really know what I would save that amount of money for. Uh, I think that's another thing that's putting me off. But yeah, if you haven't watched, and she's also hilarious when she's on her video. So if you haven't watched her, please jump over. So that's Iris Budgets. And then my last one for today is Tori's Cash Envelopes. Now Tori's, um, I sometimes miss her. I don't think I've got my notification bells on. So I'm going to have to go and check that I do have my notification bell on for her. Um, but yeah, she's lovely. She, um, has a young family she is actually a sister of miss budget so i'll be shout out to miss budget so i've shouted out already but um follow both of them if you can um but yeah tony's tory sorry cash envelopes is another one that i want you to follow for or subscribe just comment on their videos help get their channel seen um that's all i ask so yeah thank you so much to everybody that's got to the end of this video um it's a long one and I'm going to go have a drink of juice and just get straight into my cash stuffing because I have got so much to do today um, and I've not even got dressed yet. So that's that. Anyway, blathering. Take care. Have a good one and I will catch you all in my next video, which will be my cash stuffing. Take care. Bye bye.